Aquas. Hello, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> if you are new here, hi, I'm Jade, and this is Star Moon and Sun Tarot. I'm going to clear the resonance. And once more. All right, Aquas, so whether you have Aquarius in your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, okay, there could be messages here for you. Although it may not resonate for every aqua, okay? Take what resonates, leave what does not. <clears throat> Today we're going to do a Law of Attraction love reading. All right, and uh, we're doing this uh, looking at several different things. One thing we're going to be looking at is animals, animal medicine. And uh, get some messages from the animals with a couple decks. Then we're going to look at your chakras and get some messages. And um, finally we're going to get some messages from the universe, okay? With the Star Seeds Oracle and the Angels and Ancestors. And uh, I'm going to use a little bit of tarot for each one of those, okay? Not too much, though. <clears throat> it's going to go uh, pretty quickly. So, if you are interested in a private personal reading with me, that information and my email can be found in the description box below, as well as the decks I'm using and other social media that you can follow me on. Um, all right, let's get into it. I'm going to start with <clears throat> this animal medicine deck. Angel spirits and guides, show me what I need to see for my aquarium people, please. I gotta move these out of the way. <clears throat> for my aquariums. <clears throat> oh, I would not be surprised if throat chakra shows up <laughs> when we get to that part. There we go. Butterfly with rebirth. Wow, I love this. You can reinvent yourself open to the rewards of change you have brilliance to share with the world love every part of your journey all right aqua some type of rebirth is happening all right you're reinventing yourselves <clears throat> which is you know can be typical for aquarians right Open to the rewards of change. <clears throat> so things are um, definitely changing, shifting in your world here. I love every part of your journey, huh? So some of this, you know, some portions of rebirth can be hard, right? The butterfly, I'm sure, you know, it might be a little bit uh, uh, painful to change from a caterpillar to a butterfly, right? If you watch those um, <clears throat> videos of them going, like where they are in the cocoon, this is what I'm seeing. Um, you know how when you watch a time lapse, you can see them like writhing around in there and it's almost like you can't tell if it's in pain or if they're just moving to stretch. Um, it'd be interesting to get it from their perspective, you know. Um, but that's what I'm seeing. So it might be a little uncomfortable for some of you. For others, you might just really need to get out and stretch your wings. You might just have been really crammed in that cocoon, right? What else for my aquas? Okay. We've got the sandpiper saying be playful, right? Stay in that high vibe mode. Make your dreams real with the spider. All right. So you are working. You're weaving some type of new existence, reinvention. Maybe you're starting a business. Yeah, Seahorse says watch and wait. Wow. All right, we're watching and waiting. And this also reduces down to an eight. Working, waiting. This is an 11. Spider spirit, make your dreams real. And this is a six, right? I do want to know the owl is on the bottom. You see clearly now. You're seeing uh, in the darkness or... Something that you could not see clearly before because it was like hidden, you are seeing clearly now. Something like coming into focus because of this rebirth. Maybe you couldn't see it because you were in the cocoon. Um, but you coming out of this cocoon is certainly you're going to be happy, bright, and playful. I do want to note that the king of shells, the seahorse, uh, just flew out onto the floor. What's that about? Okay, someone could be watching and watching you. 
I feel like that belongs there. Okay. Um, let's get, okay. There's the two more. The shadow. Okay. You're doing some shadow work here. Wow. Regarding union, harmony. You're uh, getting real self-empowered here. Here's the five of crystals on the bottom. This is persistence. This is new possibilities. Ladybugs symbolize wishes, hopes, and dreams. <clears throat> You're doing some type of shadow work that may have to do with relationships or codependency of some type. Um, but you're, you're ambitious, you're working hard, right? And you're getting through any type of negative energy. You're overcoming any type of shadow. This is a six as well. And there could be some mirroring here. This, this is a 51. This is a 15. This is a two. This is 11, which goes down to a two. All right. And this is the two of shells. Wow. I just noticed that. And then we have the king of shells, which is a, a seahorse, okay? Wow. I just want to get all of these out of the way. So <clears throat> you have put in a lot of work, right? Learning lessons, overcoming the shadow within, right? That's what, that's what shadow work is. Dealing with anything like that. And you could be watching and waiting and healing before you um, come into this king of shells, king of cups type of place, right? <clears throat> before you are ready to offer. And we've got inner child. So this is some type of inner child healing you've been doing. This is the solar plexus chakra. So make sure that you're meditating and healing that chakra. There are tones for all of these as well. You can also do simple visualizations. Yeah. These are emotions here. And again, this is an 11, this is an 18. This is feelings, expression, your moods and your balance. This is the uh, navel chakra. So you're healing and balancing, you know, possibly old things from when you were a child. Two more came out. Okay. Wow. So we've got five of the seven out here. We've also got the throat chakra. There's some type of honesty, truth, or transparency um, that is some type of, like, third eye spiritual truth there's there's a key here and it's unlocked this whole universe inside your mind right you're learning this is imagination being open being open and transparent about some type of truth sincerity communication there's some truth that needs to come out and you know it you know it You've been healing these things, and it's bringing you into an emotional balance here. Stability, harmony, peace. That's like the Ace of Cups right there. Wow. Okay. Love just flew out. <laughs> You're healing your heart. You're healing some type of love situation. Possibly, oh, there could be a king of fire involved. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person. Does not have to be. Anybody can be the king of fire, right? It could even be you being the king of fire, right? Being passionate, driven, going after what you want. Oh, boy, nope, that's too many. What's this? Yeah. This is about balance and learning how to be patient, right? Not self-sabotage, not self, you know, you're learning about self-sabotage and self-sacrifice as well and divine timing. But this could also be the other party learning about these things. Yeah, this is, this is body mind. Look, and we have the mind up here with the truth. This could be an actual physical truth. Look at death and rebirth on the bottom. This is crazy. Okay. So um, could also be a Scorpio person involved. Does not have to be. Okay. 
any of these signs can be anywhere in anyone's placement and also other people can take on these aspects right so again there's there's this connection this real world truth that has to be told here very strong message all right wow i can't even oh my god and then behind the death and rebirth is the heaven and earth card this whenever i see this this is transitioning um soul contracts as above so below as in the 5d is in the 3d wow and then behind that this is putting the work in to really align and get yourself centered right really and closing out any old negative cycles while doing so look at this union union behind there this is balance in yourself right queen of air <laughs> and the two of cups the two of water wow these are all very good actually there's some type of soulmate contract here that's going to be um, healed I'm gonna leave that on the top there I love that okay so let's get some further advice from the universe here what else for Aquarians whoa where's that go Jeez, you guys are never gonna I gotta like really stay here Ooh, shoot I want to stay up close so you guys can actually see them so they stop flying on the floor ten of cups ace of swords reconciliation you know what you want ace of pentacles holy smokes the fool i think we'll leave it at that knight of pentacles it's taken a long time it's been a long time coming it's gonna it's it's taking some time to progress but it's coming and you knew it was you knew it You had to go through some crazy transition to learn it, but here it is. Show me. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We've got your not for everyone, right? Face your weirdness. Face your embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. Not everyone is going to be a perfect match for you, right? And trust in the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. So you're rebirthing, ending old cycles, right, inner earth. You'll survive this, new solutions and beginnings. So there could be old cycles you're closing out. Um, but trust the timing. It's going to be okay. You're having this rebirth. You're putting this work in on yourself here. Angels and Ancestors, what is the advice from Angels and Ancestors for Aquarians, please? Summer says, bask in joy and light. Right? That was too many. <laughs> bask in joy and light, and I'm, I'm noticing the honeybee works very hard, right? They put the work in. Wow, winter, take care of your needs, is coming out with the she-wolf. Unleash the wild within. This has to do with dealing with this shadow-type energy here, right? Taking care of your own needs and unleashing this from within yourself here. Whatever you're learning or doing, yeah. You're growing within your current situation. Wise one. You've learned some big lessons here, and um, it's, it's moving you into balance. As long as you keep working and right, resonating um, thankful, grateful, joyful, trust, and um, yeah. You're going to you're going to watch and wait and put the work in and take your time here because it's going to um end very beautiful for you, Aquas. I love this. So thank you 
so much for uh, watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. And I hope to see you guys back next time. Much love. Bye.